Welcome to the Water Cycle Quiz. Let's learn some amazing facts about how water moves in nature, then see if you can answer the questions. The water cycle starts with evaporation. The sun heats up water from rivers, lakes, and oceans, turning it into vapor that rises into the sky. What is the first step of the water cycle? Precipitation Collection Evaporation Condensation Correct answer, C. Evaporation Evaporation is when water changes from a liquid to a gas, turning into water vapor and floating up into the atmosphere. What happens during evaporation? Water falls as rain. Water turns to gas and rises. Water freezes into ice. Water flows back to rivers. Correct answer, the water turns to gas and rises. As water vapor rises, it cools down and turns back into tiny water droplets, forming clouds. This process is called condensation, which process forms clouds in the water cycle. Condensation Evaporation Collection Precipitation Correct answer, a condensation. When clouds become too heavy, water falls back to the ground as precipitation. This could be rain, snow, or hail. What do we call it when water falls from clouds as rain, snow, or hail? Collection, condensation, evaporation, precipitation, Correct answer, D. Precipitation. After precipitation, water collects in rivers, lakes, and oceans, ready to start the water cycle again. Where does water go after it falls as rain? It stays in clouds. It collects in rivers, lakes, and oceans. It evaporates immediately. It stays on leaves. Correct answer B. It collects in rivers, lakes, and oceans. Condensation is when water vapor cools down and becomes liquid again, forming clouds. Which part of the water cycle involves water vapor cooling down to form clouds? Collection Condensation Precipitation Evaporation Correct answer, B. Condensation. The sun's heat is essential for the water cycle because it causes evaporation, helping water move up into the sky. Why is the sun important in the water cycle? It keeps rivers full. It causes water to evaporate. It stops rain. It freezes water. Correct answer, B. It causes water to evaporate. The water cycle includes processes like evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Freezing, however, is not part of the cycle. Which of these is not part of the water cycle? Condensation, evaporation, freezing, precipitation, Correct answer, C. Freezing. When water gathers in rivers, lakes, and oceans, this stage is called collection, completing the cycle. 
What is it called when water gathers in rivers, lakes, and oceans? Collection. Evaporation. Condensation. Precipitation. Correct answer, a collection. The water cycle is a continuous process that never stops, ensuring water is always moving. When does the water cycle stop? When it rains. When it snows. It never stops. When water is frozen. Correct answer, see it never stops. Thank you for taking the water cycle quiz with us on Dada TV. We hope you had fun learning about how water moves around us. Remember, the water cycle is always flowing. Just like our curiosity to learn, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and stay tuned for more fun quizzes and science videos. See you next time.